Scientists have extracted pollen from a flower that is dated to nearly 40 million years ago. In a scene very reminiscent of Jurassic Park, this was feasible because the flower in question was preserved in amber perfectly and fully. As a fossilized flower, this is the oldest complete flower fossil that we have and it is one of the rarest finds in paleontology. When we think of fossils, we think of large dinosaur bones in the sand or sedimentary deposits of marine shells and animals from millions of years ago. We hardly ever think of plants and don't associate them with fossils so much. But when we do, we don't really think of flowers as well. Fossilized flowers are not very common and especially when it comes to preservation in amber where animal material is found much more frequently in comparison. This flower however is very remarkable. It is the largest amber preserved flower fossil ever discovered and it measures 28 millimeters in width and is perfectly preserved. This is quite tiny in real life, but for fossils, flowers previously discovered have barely been a couple of millimeters wide. So this is a significant finding. The flower itself is from Northern Europe in a place where there are large amber deposits. This is the region of the Baltic forest, which has yielded many amberized fossils, but not enough is known about the plants and trees that lived back then, which produced this amber. Scientists are very curious to understand how this flower got encased in amber because amberization itself requires a very specific set of conditions. Amber is a fossilized version of a resin and resin in fossils comes from coniferous trees. It is sap that oozes from these plants. When this resin leaks out of these trees and covers something, for that something to be preserved, the resin must completely cover and seal it and, crucially, block out oxygen. This is because when oxygen comes in contact with biological material, the material will start to decompose or decay. Decomposition or decay occurs through microbial action, so the resin not just blocks out oxygen but also protects against microbes by completely encasing any biological specimen. And then this resin dries up and solidifies and gets preserved through the ages and these then come to us as amber preserved fossils. This specimen that contains the world's largest flower inside amber isn't newly discovered. It was first found in 1872 and it is housed in a collection in Germany. The scientists who worked on this paper had been unaware of this specimen until recently and went to see it. These scientists are from Germany and Austria. They noticed that this perfectly encased flower looked like it had just opened for the first time when it was doused and covered in resin and hardened. At this stage of a flower's life, when it has just freshly bloomed, the pollen in the flower is also fresh. So these scientists were able to use a sensitive equipment and extract this pollen. They analyzed it and discovered that the flower is dated to the late Eocene between 38 to 33 million years ago. It was originally thought to be from an ancient flowering plant when it was first discovered. But the authors found from analysis that the flower is in fact closely related to another Asian species. So this flower and this species has been given a new name after 150 years from discovery. This discovery also follows a pattern where scientists are discovering that a lot of fossilized plant remains from Northern Europe more closely resemble present day vegetation in Asia more than Europe's. Flower fossils of this family of plants are rare and provide information into climate and vegetation millions of years ago. The climate in Baltic forests, which are in northern central Europe, is very cold. But when this flower bloomed for the very first time, this forest was likely warm and humid and even contained swamps. And there were trees that had really large outpourings of resin so that a flower such as this was able to be perfectly encased completely in resin. 
This perfectly preserved flower fossil is extremely rare and it is one of the few flowers that we have in general that are large and fully preserved. Normal flower fossils in amber are about 10 mm wide and this is 28 mm wide, about three times as big as other flower fossils that we have. Each new botanical fossil like this provides us a wealth of information into what the planet looked like when that life was alive and how the planet evolved biologically to be what it is today.